Hi, and welcome to part 2 in this new series of my root app tutorials. My name is Serge, and today I'll show you how easy it is to import the routes that you previously created in programs like Basecamp, Tire, or maybe one of the online route planners available, or that you already stored on your PC, and use them in my root app. Let's jump to the root lab. And here we are, in the root lab. On the blue bar on top, you find the button Upload. Click it, and you'll find four options to upload root files. As you can see, my root app supports many, many root file extensions, depending on what you use to use. Most routes created in Basecamp will be able to upload one by one in the tab Root. You can also choose to upload a root track that doesn't have any waypoints, just a start and a finish. And as you can see, you can also use files created by Google Maps. Third option is track logs. This could be track logs created on your Garmin or your TomTom um, that record your ride while you ride it. Those files are called track logs and you can import them um, on this tab. The fourth one is POI, points of interest. Many riders find it attractive to see um, camping sites, gas stations, or any other point of interest on their map. You can import them in Marutab, but I'll show you in a different tutorial how to do that and how to use them. First, let's look at routes. I can select the privacy mode. I can share it with others or keep it to myself for now. The route that I'm going to import is a motorcycle route, so I select driving. And then by the green button, I select a file on my PC. And as you can see, I have different GPX files. And I select one here in the UK. I press open and then import. The route will now show in my route overview. And by clicking it, I can see the route, including the route points in my own my route app environment. As you can see, it's now opened in the open street map. And by switching to, for example, Google Maps, TomTom, or Garmin here, I can create the route in the map that my navigation system uses and make sure that all the route points are exactly located correctly. Second option is to import a route track. For that, I again select Choose File, and I select this file that I know to be a track file. I click Import. It's also showing, but notice the difference. One is called root, the other one's root track. As you can see, this one doesn't include any root points. I can still use it to export to my device. I can still save it on my TomTom My Drive, or I can edit this root track. I can give it a new name or leave it as is. I select Use, and the system will automatically add root points to the track. By going over the root points one by one and zooming in and making sure that they are set on the road and not next to it, like this one, I can remove them and I can skip from one to the next. I can create a route and I can change it to whatever I like. And that's it. That's how simple it is to import routes previously created in Basecamp, Tire, or maybe downloaded from a website and use them in Marutab. How to further manipulate those routes and use them on your setnav directly from Marutab is something I will tell you in one of the next tutorials. Hope to see you then.